Welcome back. We are here on ETHER looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button and see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at ETHER where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are getting fairly close to the top of uh, this range. Uh, we are also significantly overbought at this point. So a pullback uh, should be expected and has been basically expected for quite some time now. But when we get RSIs that are above 70, uh, that is certainly a matter of time before we see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, which is at around, give or take, 4,043 uh, at this point. And if that breaks, then we could head all the way down to the 50, down here at 3,961. So yes, we are getting very close to the top of the ramp of the Bollinger Band here, and we're also getting overstretched in basically the RSI. So at this point, other technical indicators are very bullish, but uh, buying at these levels, that is fairly risky. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So also the Dow Jones here. We have pulled back a little bit. We're trading at the at the all time highs here at the 30 uh, 34k, um, and as you can see, we're significantly overbought and fairly overstretched here. So a pull back towards the middle of the bullish band at 33k that could be expected. A break below band opens the door all the way down to 32k. Taking indicators otherwise are very bullish, but uh, at this point. Uh, buying at the RSI this high, that is uh, probably uh, probably not the best strategy. Pullbacks are are expected at this point, and uh, it's basically where people will take advantage of these pullbacks and buy it off the cheap. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq is uh, technically tr been trading from sideways at the last uh, four trading days or three trading days. We have basically reached the 2D all-time highs here at 13, 14K. Uh, but uh, otherwise, technical indicators are becoming flat, even though we're in a very bullish territory. We're also on the edge of being overbought here. So a pullback towards the the, um, the 20 exponential moving average at the 13,553 could be expected or down towards these previous lows here which is down, give or take, 13,400 or 13,300. Could also be an area of, of uh, interest. Uh, but we are getting over and getting basically to the edge of being overbought. And also very, we are basically, we are also basically running into resistance at this area, which, um, which should be troubling. And uh, considering that we have been rallying for the last uh, basically, uh, three to four weeks, uh, then a pullback could be expected at this current stage. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX did rally today. We have nothing has really happened in the German DAX the last two weeks. We're trading at 15,286 at this current stage. Technical indicators are very, uh, very bullish still, but the MACD has crossed the signal line in bullish territory and we are significantly overbought yet again so a pullback towards the 20 exponential at the give or take 15,000 could be expected before going higher to 15,500 or 16,000 so let's look at a uk 100 so uk 100 we have reached all the way up towards the 7,000 we are on the edge of being our bot now and we are getting basically on the edge of the bullinger band here so a pullback towards the middle of the bullinger band or towards these previous highs here could be expected before we go and breach 7,000 so this is one of those indices that has not recovered yet from its basically major fall last year so DAX has recovered, the, the US indices have recovered and so on. And so this has been basically taking its time to recover. So the all-time highs up here at give or take 7,700, and that is quite far off at this point. So we are getting fairly overstretched, pullbacks could be expected, and we'll most likely find major support down here in the middle of the bullish band, which is at 6,800. So let's look at the, the China 50. So China 50 basically broke the 200 moving average. 
and then we rallied again. So we created this, uh, we're still in red, but we created this uh, hammer. And uh, at this current stage, if we started trading underneath the, the, the 200 moving average, we could head towards the 16,000 and even the 15,000. We can look at, for example, the Fibonacci retracements for this market, how far this could basically fall. We have broken the first one. The next one is down here at 16,000. And the last one is down here at 15,000. That is probably as far as this basically will go if we start trending underneath the 200 moving average. A break below here, well, of course, then we could head all the way down to towards 12,500 and also 11,000 or even lower than that. But major support should be around 16,000 and 15,000. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etero. Good luck and thank you very much.